Twin 5.7 powered boat. One engine's cutting out and backfiring. Looking for the problems. Initially thinking spark, you know, maybe a bad ignition coil, but then we started looking at the injectors. Now we're suspecting a pickup coil or an ECM or something in the injection circuit, a fuel pump failure. I don't know. It's going to take a lot more testing. So right now we're going to do a test. You might want to move back, Walker. We're going to watch that injector spray. And in the video, it shows it kind of blinking left and right, but it's really not doing that. This is the lighting. Let me get over here in a better position. Things a little toasty. Alright, well, it's video and a little odd. Let's hope it looks good once we do it. Go ahead and hit it. And let's see it mess up. Watch it! see that we're losing fuel out of those injectors erratically interesting so you know I suspect you know either a bad fuel pump or a bad ECM we're gonna do some testing we got some parts over here so we can do some part swapping hate to do that but you know it's just kind of nice so we can grab the ECM off this put it over here and see if that resolves it pretty quick and easy if so then that's gonna be a quick diagnostic also, this engine's turning a little less RPMs. This one's turning about 3,000 in the tank. This one's turning about 2,500. I also noticed, and y'all might agree, is the warmer it gets, the worse it gets. Yes? Yes. So that indicates an ignition coil to me. Anyway, we're gonna check those things and see what we got. Okay, test number one, ECM. We swapped out the ECM with the other motor. Try it. No fuel pressure, you see that? Yep. Wait, now we got some fuel. You might have a bad ignition switch up there, man. No fuel, see that? Now you got a little squirts on, of fuel. Let me, let, me, let me just move this ignition switch a little bit. Watch out. Go ahead. Wow, well you know you got a bad ignition switch for sure. Well, maybe your whole, the whole problem is you got bad connections on the ignition switch. You need to hot wire the engine and get past that. Punch it. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Wow. See if it'll start. See all that? Everything turned off. You could just have a bad fucking ignition switch. Put in gear. All right, so she's shutting off as soon as you give her a little gas. Yes. All right, so it's not the ECM because we just swapped it. Okay, so we're running a, a few more spark tests, and we're trying to verify if the spark is dropping out while the fuel system is dropping out to see if it's a sensor problem or if it's a fuel pump problem or whatever. So right now, we have injectors flowing, and this problem is intermittent. Sometimes this engine won't even start. We've got our fuel pressure sensor disconnected, which is right there. And that's because we're going to get a wrench so we get a fuel tap in there to see what the fuel pressure is. Right here we've got this spark tester going. This is our coil feed. And I don't know if you can see the, the arc in there, but it's throwing a hell of a new spark. So we're running off of that right now. So we're going to give it a little gas just to show how it's messing up. Watch out, Jojo. Yeah. And Joseph's watching. What he was looking for is to see his if the spark was dropping when the fuel dropped. So I'm gonna have to get over there pretty quick. And obviously the more we run it, the worse the problem gets.
That's the longest it's ran so far. And I know it's running like shit, but that's the longest it ran. But you see, the spark never stopped. It's just... The spark never stopped? It never stopped. Okay. So, so we're going to suspect it's fuel pressure at this point. Now, this is the first time we ran it with that sensor unplugged. And it ran longer. So that tells us we're in the right area as far as diagnosing. Now, we've already checked the ignition coil. We've already pulled the distributor cap, looked for corrosion and what have you in there. Uh, the, the sensor inside the distributor looks pretty new, probably, you know, newer than the engines are. Uh, this boat's been refitted with newer motors, you know, because it had some really old ones. So listen, I'm going to shut it off. All right, I tell you what, go ahead and plug that sensor back in. And I know we probably do a code, set a code by that being undone. We have our scanner hooked up and we can always put a code, but this is for, okay. Let's try it again right now with the sensor plugged in. Here we go. So it's a lot worse with the fuel pressure sensor plugged in. So what we're going to do is unhook, and we also have it hot wired just to verify that it's not an ignition switch problem. The key is off right now. Joseph will disconnect the hot wire. <laughs> it's pretty hot out here is what it is. There you go. Right. <laughs> right. He forgot. So, um, so we suspect it's just a fuel pressure issue, you know. And, you know, unfortunately, this thing has the fuel cooler module, which is located way down there. And it's a pain in the butt to work on, but it's way down there. Inside that box, there's some screens, there's a regulator inside there, and there's fuel pumps. There's two fuel pumps. One is a low-pressure transfer pump, and one is a high-pressure pump. And one or the other or both are giving problems. So, we're going to do a fuel test, a pressure test, and see what we got. And we'll go from there. Hold on. Okay, so this is, he just took the, the fuel pressure sensor off. And if you can see in there, let's go out in the sun. And it wasn't a filter too. Yeah, inside the new filter, but we can see this crap on the end of his finger is old gasoline and crap. So we might just have a throttle body that needs to be rebuilt. Oh, not on the man's. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's good. So that's just a pressure sensor. I mean, a little trash ain't gonna hurt it, but. All right, so let's get a fuel pressure test and let's go from there. Fuel pressure test. Fuel pressure dropping down about 27 when it starts acting worse. Okay, as so long as the fuel pressure is around 30, but I think the fuel pressure is a little low. 
you know I think it ought to be about 35 but 30 might be okay we'll have to look at the specs online and see or in the manual but we certainly don't want to see that problem you know but okay fuel pressure test is you know dropping down about 27 pounds on that one we went ahead and hooked the scanner to that motor too to verify everything's within spec and both motors are reading the same thing on the scanner so you know just more and more we're just thinking the fuel system the throttle body or the fuel pump or you know everything in line of that is having some problems so it took us a little bit to hook our pressure gauge up but we're going to check the fuel pressure on this engine because it's running perfect and we're going to compare that data to that one no we don't need a scanner on it because we scanned it it's good okay so we got the fuel pressure gauge on this motor now and we had a low of about 27 on the other one right when it was backfiring and stuff 27 yes yeah and a high of like 30 that was it okay let's see what this engine's gonna do oh that's 45 volts how much 45 almost 44. Yeah, so that tells us right away. Well, we thought it needed more fuel pressure. So we got a fuel pump problem. No! <laughs> it's so hot out here today. Hey, Joseph, we're videoing. Easy with the colorful language. Here we go. You didn't like when I chopped the throttle like that. <laughs> All right, so gentlemen, I think we've confirmed. Fuel bump, fuel cooler module. Okay, well, we've done our due diligence and checking just about everything we can think of. If we've missed something, I'm sure some of our viewers will be happy to tell me because they're searching the net for drama. Yeah, because they're super on. mechanics. Super mechanics out there are going to tell us exactly how to do our job. <laughs> anyway, listen, we're not perfect, and we make mistakes, you know, and we're three different people, so we do it, you know, sometimes three different ways around here. But anyway, as you can see by the testing, we got a bad fuel pump. We kind of suspected that early on, but we want to verify and rule out anything else because we don't want to just go throw in expensive fuel cooler pumps and all the labor to come out and find out, oh, hey, wow, it was a bad distributor cap or coil or, or even an ignition module or a, or a computer, you know, so, and we didn't want to go buy some $900 computer, you know, just doing our due diligence, so... Anyway, off the cuff video on a hot Thursday afternoon here at Hot Heads Marine. <laughs>